Good morning and welcome to the Mike Show for Thursday, October 19, 2023. 52 degrees at 9.49 a.m. and I am your host, Fa Kamal, and I'm a sinner. And I'm a tired sinner. I am powerless and life is unmanageable. Humility and gratitude are the keys to life. It's always today and it's always now. My life is not my own. My will will not be done. There's no reality but God, and the only thing we have to do is die. So how are we going to live this day? And I hope and pray I can live from my heart a life based on faith and not fear. It's doing the doing. That's the tricky part. Hey, Sully. I'm here with Brother Prince and Co-Star Sullivan. And it is a cloudy and overcast and light rain falling on and off throughout the day is the forecast. Pretty out there. It's pretty. I did not want to get out of bed this morning, and I almost felt rested, and what was really nice was... I just, it felt good and I didn't hurt. You know, usually when I when I don't sleep really well or when I feel restless, you know, I sleep but I don't feel rested. I toss and turn once it get, gets to be morning and daylight. And today I could have just laid there all day. It just felt so good. <laughs> once I got up and moving, I had pain in the lower back and my shoulder and probably other places, but... I'm so used to them now, I don't even consider them pain anymore. Oh, boy. We've said our morning prayers and read our readings, and it's just Sully and I sitting here. Mikey did come down. Max and Sully went out. Elsie did not want to go out this morning. We threw food out there for the wildlife, and there were some city chickens out there earlier. In fact, there are some on the wire, and Mr. Blue Jay's out there. There have been a lot of blue jays lately. In fact, there's two of them out there now. Oh, boy. So anyway, recap from yesterday. We baked bread and took a loaf to Keith, someone that we bake bread for every week. Picked up a few things that save a lot. I think I got some burger, salad, I don't remember what else. Some corn chips and a cucumber, I think. Came home and pretty much just hung out with the cats. We did do a full yoga workout. I've been doing that about three times a week since I started about two weeks ago. I always do some kind of stretching and core work in the morning or try to, but yesterday I did another full yoga routine. Don't do them like I used to. <laughs> I do a few poses and then take a break and do a few poses and take a break. I started, uh, a lot of the poses that I do came from a power yoga video I used to have by Baron Baptiste. We're sitting here by our fake fire, which is nice. Would be nice to have a real one. Almost had one last night. But sitting here was good enough, and it really did feel really good to be sitting here. And I worked on a crossword puzzle and just hung out with my loves sitting out here at camp, as I call it. Um, it was just very relaxing and peaceful. What did we watch for a movie last night, Sully? I don't remember. I never can remember anymore what we watch doesn't matter I'll try to think of it but anyway we're going to take a break and probably go make some more coffee we had black silk pre-ground Folgers coffee which it's really good as espresso but meh I think I could have made something else to start my day it's not real good starting the day kind of coffee welcome back and I don't really mean that Got another half a carafe of coffee over here. This time it's Hills Brothers. Fresh ground beans. 
Went and checked on Max and Michael and Else. Max and Michael are upstairs. Elsie just went up there. Um, as far as the movies we watched last night, we watched, <laughs> once again, the 1941 classic, The Wolf Man. And after that, uh, part of a s episode of season one of Endeavor. Oh, boy. What else boring can, and dull can I mention? Um been about a month since I got my hair cut for the first time in over 20 years. And uh, it's like doing whatever it wants. It just doesn't cooperate. And that part that I got right along there, that still hasn't combed itself out. And I'm thinking of getting another haircut, getting it all just buzzed right off. Because in the back it stands up and it's going sideways. And for all those, most of those 20 plus years, I wore my hair in a ponytail and it's just kind of trained to work that way and now that it it's short but growing again it's kind of still following the pattern it had with being brushed back into a ponytail and I look you know in the back it stands up like a paintbrush look at that <laughs> So it's just wear a hat. Not that I'm worried about what other people think. It's about what I think. and I gotta get something done with it. Maybe it's time for just a buzz cut. That tree's turning yellow. This one's turning an orangish red. We had city chickens out there. They are out there again. Um, I'm thinking about going shooting today. I haven't gone for about a month now and I don't know, maybe just to get out of the house and get some fresh air out in the forest. I don't feel like riding a bike. Maybe that's what I should do, though. Uh, still just trying to crawl out of the darkness we've been in since Sammy's gone. And it's not an easy thing to do. Not an easy thing to do at all, is it, Sully? So anyway, I doubt we're going to do any conjuring today. I've got some soup, some pre-made soup that I'm probably going to heat up. i got burger, and I'm going to probably have a hamburger. got some nice jalapeno bagels I can grill with mayo and then put the burger on that with some white cheddar and some banana pepper rings, ketchup and mustard, a little onion, yum, yum, yum. Been making popcorn almost every night. I like to have popcorn when I'm watching a movie. Maxie likes it sometimes too, and Mikey gives them little bits of it. Sully, not so much. Anyway. Oh, let's take another break. Well, it's still just Sully and I sitting here. <laughs> No more ambition than I had earlier. Will I go shooting? Won't I? I might not even leave the house again today. Just sit here and enjoy the silence and the colors and the company of these cats. I don't know. I do not know. Oh, boy. We're back for our closing segment and some disconcerting news. I just found another tick on Sully. I pulled one off him a couple weeks ago, and it's still a very ugly wound. It's not healed, and now he's got... He, that was on his uh, middle of his back on his right side, and this one today is on his neck on the right side. And I don't know if I got the head out or not, but I don't know where he's getting them from. And he doesn't seem to be showing any signs or symptoms of being sick. So hopefully he doesn't pick up anything from them. But it's got me wondering, you know, i got to go over and thoroughly check the rest of these sweethearts to make sure they don't have ticks on them. Uh, Maxie's had two in his life that I know of. I've never found any on Michael. And Elsie, I pulled one off her, I think, last year. But, uh, yeah, it's not a good thing. 
So anyway, that's all we got. Probably not going to do a damn thing today. So from the cold gray ashes and coals of my cold black heart, my broken, beaten, battered, bruised, bloody, burden, empty, hollow, cracked, shattered, hopeless, forsaken, and forlorn soul, piss off. Happy No Complaint Thursday, and thanks for not tuning in.